Hello everyone, welcome back to the front-end developer interview series. In this series, we discuss the question that asked in the real front-end developer interviews. So today we are going to solve the question that asked uh, that was asked by the Amazon, Airbnb, and the Uber. And the question name is star rating problem. So let's see the problem. You can find out this um, code sandbox link in the description where you can find this template. Uh, this is the boilerplate that I have created already for you. So just go there and start solving the problem. So before that, let's uh, discuss the problem. So in this problem, you can see um, we have this app, we have this star rating, we have this task project. So what we have to do is, um, and in star rating, we have uh, two icons. So this is the first icon and this is the second icon. So you can see it here. So the first icon is the simple and second wheel is filled with the um, yellow color. So if you notice, uh, these two icons are exactly same. Just uh, this is the class that I have given to this. And this style CSS, you can find this class that it's filled with the yellow color. So now let's discuss the problem. Let's go to task.js and press control B. So here you can see um, what we have to, um, we have a star rating component and we have to provide um, two parameters to that. And the one parameter is number of star. Let's say we have a number of star five and then the number of currently filled star. Let's say it's a three star. So what is three star means? Three star will be filled and two star will be not filled. So three star will be yellow color and two star will be of white. And when a star is clicked, filled it along all the star of left. Let's say there are five star. I click on the third star. That means uh, it is a three star wizard. So first, second, third, all will be um, filled. And whenever the user hover over the stars, so hover over the star, fill all the stars under the cursor. So let's say it's a five star and I am hovering until three. Okay, so it will hover still, it will fill all the stars till three. And when I come back without clicking, so it will go back to its original position. So I hope you are able to understand this and you are additionally, uh, you are free to decide the props of a star rating. So now, first of all, let's go to our app.js and here we have to pass two parameters, um, the maximum and the like current state, current rating. So I will create an state and my rating will be my state of the component. So from react and here I will say current rating const current rating and set current rating and I will initialize it let's say with three only okay so let's initialize we have a three star so here I will pass my current rating current rating and that will be current rating and we will have a set current rating that will be set current rating and press current rating so let me make it into the next slide. And one more thing I have to pass is the maximum, the maximum number of stars. So I will say one max parameter and here I, am, I will or max star and max star will be, um, let's say five. Okay. So I think this is all for this app.js. Now our task is to go to this star rating five. So let's go to star rating. And here you can see we have these two icons and I can um, like use it into the single component. I will say like const star and this star will be. Okay, so you can see this is the fox sandbox. Okay, so when, uh, when you go to this template and try to edit it, it will not edit uh, the template. It will create a fork for you and then you can edit uh, on your fork. So I'm saying star. And here I will pass some parameter, let's say field and return that star. So I, I will return here this um, SVG. So I will just copy it, cut it and I will return it. Okay. So now what I have to do, I, I can skip this thing. I can skip, um, wait, I can skip this thing and I will call this star here. So now what I have to do is um, in this star, Depending on the field, if it is field, then I will add this class. Otherwise, I will add, I will not add this class. So I will say use this string literal. And so here I have to add the condition. So let's add the condition. I will say if field, then only add um, this class. 
so i hope this makes sense so if it is filled then add this class otherwise it will be star icon okay so now we can use this star in the and if you want you can make it into like nest component so let me make a new component here so let's star dot js and here i have to export default star now let me go here and i have to import my star from star so here if you see if i uh, if i use a star and uh, didn't pass anything so it is empty okay if, let me press control b so you can see as of now it is simple star but if i write uh, make it something like a star and field so that will be true okay so i can write in this way only or i can write in this way also like true so if it is true then it will uh, go there and similarly if i send here with false in that case also it will be this so i hope you are able to understand how to like use this single star now what we are going to do is we need to pass five star okay so here i will use my parameter and parameter will be like max star and then we have a current rating and then we have a set current rating and one more thing i don't want to do in this way i i don't used to do in this way so i will say star rating and similarly make it const okay so now in this div what i'm going to do is um what i will do is let me just first of all put it into this now here i need an array i will need an array i will create an array and that array will be of length uh, that array will be of length um fact 5 that will be max stars okay so this will create an array of max star currently max star is 5 so it will create five array um array of five element and then i will map over it and in that map i don't need like what is its element i don't need that but i need its index okay and from that index what i will do um i don't have to do any calculation i i i will just send an span i will just send a span let's say span okay so it's not using this so just go here and click on the javascript to react javascript now in this span what i want to do i will uh, send the star so let use the star and let's see if it's working or not yeah this is working fine so here i have to pass the condition so field condition will be something like that field um here if if um my current rating if my cur uh, if the index is less than my current rating i will say if index is less than equals to current rating so you see the index is less than equals to current rating or not less than equals to less than okay so you see current rating is 3 so now 3 star are filled and 5 are out of 5 3 are filled so now what we have to do we have to add an interaction here so what we will do we will add an on click event here and on clicking um we will change our um star rating so we will say set current rating and set current rating to the index and plus 1 so if index is 0 and so 0 plus 1 will be 1 so it will become one star so let's go there and if i say 2 if i click on 2 it will become two star if i click on 5 a uh, 4 it will become four star five star so this look good okay so i hope this look good now um, we have to add our next task so what is next task just go there and try to read it out so when the user hover over the star fill all the star under the cursor and it's left so what we have to do is um, let's say currently i am hovering and my pointer is at 4 so if I, my pointer is at 4 so 
वन टू थ्री फोर फोर स्टार शुड बी फील्ड एंड इट शुड बी लाइक समथिंग लाइक इन एनिमेशन मोड सो वी हैव टू डू इन दैट वे एंड वेन आई लाइक कम बैक माई माउस सो इट विल गोज टू इज प्रीवियस स्टेट ओके सो आई होप यू आर एबल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो फॉर दैट वट आई एम गोन डू इज आई विल यूज न्यू स्टेट इम्पोर्ट यू स्टेट फ्रॉम द रिएक्ट एंड देन वट आई विल डू आई विल से कॉन्स्ट होवर स्टेट और होवर इंडेक्स होवर स्टेट इंडेक्स होवर स्टेट इंडेक्स समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड सेट होवर स्टेट इंडेक्स एंड दैट विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ नल ओके वाई नल सो इफ इट इज नल दैट मीन करेंटली वी आर नॉट होवरिंग ओके सो वट वी विल डू um here on this pen let me write it in this way and what i have to do i have to add two more event so first event is on mouse enter and what we will do on mouse enter if mouse enter then we will update our um hover state to that index so we will say set hover state to that index and on mouse leave when mouse leave from that a uh, span then we what we will do mouse leave in that case we will again set is to null set um current hover state to null now um i think this will work uh, the only thing that i have to do on the field is i have to write the condition again so what i will say i will say hover state index if this um not equals to null if this not equals to null then you have to check if it is not equals to null that in that case what i will do i will check if our index is less than equals to power state or this okay so here you can see i hope you are able to understand this um let me just write it in this way um you can able to clear so what i am saying if hover state is not null that means i am currently hovering so if i am hover if i am hovering then what it should be index if less than hover state index so let's say let me just see the console just see the console um delete it um let me put code my here so let me just write a console here console dot log hover state index and now um let me show you my code so see um currently it's null because i am not hovering i take my mouse to this star so right now index will become zero so uh, all indexes less than 0 or equals to 0 will be filled here 1 and less than 1 will be filled so you can see the like console and i hope you are able to understand this thing and now when i come back when i come back my mouse it will goes to its original position that is 3 if i click on this 5 so it will be 5 if i click on 3 it will be 3 but if i not if i just hovering so it will come back to its original position so this is what we have to create and this is the most asked interview question in the company so as you know like this it was asked in the amazon air being be uber so i hope you are able to understand what types of question company asks what company wants to see in the candidate when asking this question so they wants to see like are you able to solve this question or not are you do you know about the events uh, are you able to create event handlers or not do, are you comfortable in the states so yeah this is the good question i would say and its rating was medium so it is a medium level question so and one more thing uh, do try this question in javascript as well it is like exactly same way um and if you wants me to solve this question in vanilla javascript do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for